hey guys welcome back to my channel I have been away for a few days and that is costly in the springtime because when you come back you're so excited and you have a laundry list of things that you want to do things that you have to do to keep that spring garden going so first things first these plants need some fresh air and to start hardening some of them off the most annoying part of gardening if you are starting from seed and that is because each day you have to bring all of these plants in and out of the house every single day but it has to be done or they will get um, sun scald like a sunburn at the very least at the worst they will completely die and all of your babying of your seed starts um, will be in vain we don't want that so in and out we go in and out we go let's see what else we need to do let's take a look around and see what needs to be done the mint this is chocolate mint it's doing fine some herbs here they're doing fine i'm not sure what's going to happen with this parsley it almost looks like it might be trying to go to seed if there's such a thing so i'm not sure um the time is looking great it bounced back really nicely from the winter this is just traditional mint we won't speak of that dead plant okay moving on this is the extension to the garden that has happened this year because, you know, gardeners always expand, right? So my plan for this area is to have a little bit more corn on this side, some um, squash zucchinis on that side, sweet potatoes on a trellis in the middle in grow bags, and more melons here and another melon... Um, area here to kind of ramble down the hill a little bit we've got some grapevines going down there and here we have some tea plants which need a little attention so we need to beautify these a little bit do a little pruning and just kind of get them in shape before they put off their spring blooms this um, Asian pear tree, I actually started from a seed from the store. It's getting aphids like crazy. So I spray them off every chance I get. And we see our little friend, Miss Ladybug in there. She eats some of those aphids and we love to see her. Hi, Miss Ladybug. Eat up, baby girl. It's an entire buffet. If you're not sure what aphids look like, let's see if I can get a better look. You see all those little black dots? Those are aphids, and they will suck the sap right out of your plant. We don't want that. We want all of our delicious fruitiness in our tree. So, this tree needs to be planted in the ground um, so we can match those two there and I'll show you those two there are all three different varieties and you need different varieties when dealing with um, Asian pear this one unfortunately has gotten mowed down twice by careless landscape um, landscapers so we keep call, we call this one Phoenix because she keeps rising from the ashes um, she was looking better before we left. I'm not sure what's going on with her right now. It almost looks like some of her leaves have been chewed. So I don't know what would do that. Hmm. Not sure. We'll keep an eye on it. And then this one is our most mature. She's about four years old. And she's a good girl. She gave us about four fruit last year they were delicious and hopefully we'll get a lot more this year so we see the beginnings of 
fruit, hopefully, if they get pollinated. I'll see a few, quite a few, so we will see what takes. She's a pretty girl. We transplanted some blueberries last, or two weeks ago, and they are doing great. Looks like they need a little drink, but otherwise, they're doing great. That one's a powder blue. And that one is a premier. So the main garden is really growing wild at this point. As you can see right there, we have a lot of seeds to harvest. So that is going to be our main task for today. So this is an example of the sun scald that I was talking about. I hardened these off too hastily. I did harden them off, but I didn't give them enough days. Um, I've been told that it takes a, close to a week um, and I definitely did not give them that much time, maybe three day, three or four days at the max. And they, they, they lived and I can think that they will continue to live because the new growth looks fine, but that white um, dead looking area, that is the sun scald that I'm referring to. So, like I was talking about earlier, looks like we have a lot of broccoli seeds to harvest. The multiplication in nature is absolutely mind-boggling. At the most, I planted, I don't know, 10 or 12 broccoli seeds, and I got all of these pods. Each one of these pods contains several seeds. And if you do the math, we're talking hundreds, if not thousands of seeds from those 10 to 12 plants. Isn't God amazing? Here's another really bad example of sun scald, these Brussels sprouts. I set them over here and this is the shady part of the garden and I thought they would be okay I'm not sure if those are gonna make it and same with these purple Brussels sprouts it was just too much I need to really really follow recommendations and take the full six seven days that it takes to acclimate plants to the garden and not be so hasty patience is a virtue Oh, it's so hard though. <laughs> all right, guys. So I know we were um, looking at all of the uh, broccoli pods that needed to be harvest harvested. Um, but when I came over to these, some of these um, bok choy that have bolted, I noticed these pods were even bigger so as you can see these are the pods that will grow after they bolt and the flower forms then you'll get these pods now I think ideally you're supposed to wait until they dry on the plant um, these look pretty mature and I do have other plans for this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these seeds and dry them inside. Um, and we'll see what happens. Worst thing that will happen is they won't germinate and they won't grow next year, but it's worth trying to save them as opposed to just throwing them away. So let's go ahead and get harvesting. So make sure you have a container that is labeled to collect your seeds or your pods in before you get started. I'm actually going to collect the entire pod and let them dry inside and then I'll harvest the seeds. I'm not waiting for this to get to its full 
dried state on the plant. I'm just picking the largest ones that I have right now. And just already from that one plant, I probably have easily 50 seeds just from that one plant. You should have seen it last year with the um, Thai basil. It was out of control. I had so much Thai basil that the I had a regular sandwich bag that was full like this um, of Thai basil, and that was just from a few a few um, plants. Is it just willingly reseeded all over the garden? It was nuts. So. Not saving some of your seeds, it's just I don't know to me, it's like throwing money away. Um, although seeds aren't that expensive, this this really isn't that hard, so to me, it's worth it. So, if um, the stuff is already going to seed, just let it go a little bit and see if you can save some. So, I'm when I take these inside, I'm going to spread them out on a dry paper towel or a dry dishcloth and let them sit there until they get dry completely. And then I'm going to open them, take the seeds out, make sure those are dry, and package them in little mylar bags and put them with the rest of my seeds that I keep in a dry, cool place. You know what's cool? How this bee, can go from flower to flower and he's heavy but he holds on to these delicate little flowers and they don't break it's pretty remarkable the design of it all it's just fantastic so after um, looking at these broccoli pods a little longer and comparing them with those bok choy pods I think I am going to have to act, exercise a little restraint and wait a little bit longer I know it's really really hard to wait um, but I'm going to try my very best to wait just a bit longer because they don't seem as um, big or full this the seed pods don't seem as full as those bok choy pods were on that one plant so i'm going to wait maybe even as long as another week as much as it might kill me <laughs> to wait i'm going to wait and we'll see what happens if they don't get much bigger then this is how they're supposed to be it's my first time saving broccoli seeds so um we'll see what happens you guys, these are some crazy looking rutabagas. I, usually they bulb up a little more than these. Um, usually they bulb up a little more than these. This one started to do something crazy underground. I have no idea, but they were starting to go to seed. So I was like, if I wanna eat them, I better pull them and we'll just roast them with some olive oil salt and pepper and a little garlic um and see what happens because i've never seen them kind of look like that but we'll see what they taste like all right i think that's gonna be it for today um we've got still a little bit of work to do you know how it is when you come back after a few days of being gone but it's just nice to be back in the garden and nice to talk to you guys so i will see you next time bye Hey guys, it's been about um, a week since I last filmed and I was waiting to let this broccoli go to uh, seed fully, but as I've been noticing, it doesn't look like it's going to grow in size and the pods are starting to dry out. 
because I do need to get this bed ready for my summer crops, I'm going to actually go ahead and harvest all of these broccoli pods and dry them in the house. And once I get in the house, I'm going to show you some of the bok choy seed pods that have gone that have dried in the house and we'll go ahead and harvest those seeds okay guys so here are some of the pak choy seeds that i've been drying in the house these are just some shells that i've gone through already and some of the seeds that i've collected out of them i'll show you how i've done that I just open them they're pretty brittle at this point and just open them and pour any seeds that are in there out. Sometimes I use the other one to scrape any seeds out. I've been noticing with this particular variety that some of the shorter ones actually give me more what look like viable seeds than some of the bigger ones. Okay, And when I say a viable seed, if you're not sure of what the seed is supposed to look like either open a packet of store-bought seeds that you have or google what the seed for that plant looks like but for these pak choy seeds these dark black ones are what viable seeds um, look like now some of the others are large and the, i'll let them continue drying for a few more days and as they dry they may darken and they may also be viable but for now the larger darker seeds are the ones that i'm pretty confident will um, grow more pak choy next year hey guys i was taking these broccoli pods off of the dried plants or not completely dried but as dried as they're going to be in my garden because I need the space and I was noticing that inside these pods you can see that they have a lot more seeds than the bok choy pods did so it was just an interesting observation that I thought I'd share and here's another one this one is chock full of seeds how exciting look at that one the sun is hitting it just so so you can see all of that beautiful potential life so cool 